This video will show how T-splines can be used to create smooth blends and transitions in a surface model. So we'll just show a number of ways that T-splines can be used to do that. So here we are starting with a bunch of curves inside of Rhino. And here we have the T-splines toolbar, the T-splines drop-down menu. And I'm just going to start by uh, using these curves to make the outline of a bathtub. So I'll just use the Rhino loft command. Select those curves and loft them. We'll do a straight sections loft. And then I'm just going to select my curves and hide them from the scene so they don't get in the way. So now I have a, a Rhino poly surface and I'm going to explode that so that it's three single surfaces. Now when I have these three single surfaces, I'm going to turn on the T-splines manipulator. So it tells me I've got some, got three surfaces here. I want to convert these to T-splines so I can start making these nice transitions and blends. And since these are degree three untrimmed NURB surfaces, when I convert the T-splines, the shape doesn't change. So I'm just going to turn on the uh, T-splines edge mode. And I'm going to marquee select this edge and then let's see, select the whole edge ring. So now I've selected the edges on both of these surfaces. I'm going to go ahead and just merge them together using the T-Spines Merge Edges command. See that just kind of smooths the surface nicely there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a crossing selection, select the whole edge ring, do another merge. So you can see already I've got some really nice. Uh, Nice transition, nice kind of blend there with those surfaces. Um, it's, maybe it's more washed out than I really want it to be. So another thing you can do with T-splines is select the, the whole edge loop and add add some tighter detail on there. And let's go ahead and insert some edges, do both sides, and I can just kind of show where I want to add those edges and you can see the geometry gets a lot tighter there by that edge. Go ahead and do that again here and tighten up this edge. Maybe I'll just type in a distance. Really, really tighten that up there. So you know, I've, now I've got some nice, uh, some nice stuff going on, going on there. But here I really have kind of too much, too much detail and it's kind of pinched out. So with these ones I can just select the edges that I don't want and just hit the delete key. Or also I can just click the delete button. You can see it actually deletes those edges, it smooths the surface out there. So I'll go ahead and do that here as well. Just uh, let's do a crossing selection on these edges that I don't want. Can hit the delete key, and you can see here I've got this really nice transition. So I have some nice tight detail here in my surface, and then it smooths out to being really, really nice and fair and flat there. And I can still, even right here at where I've deleted after where I've deleted those edges, I can grab that surface and, and move the move uh, the edges there. And it's the surface will stay smooth. It's actually C2 curvature continuous smooth here at those T points. So that's one way to get a nice transition in T spines is by by deleting by adding edges and then deleting them so the surface smooths out. Um, another way to get a good transition we'll show by adding a bottom to this tub. So I'm going to select the edge here and go ahead and do an extrusion. So you can see I've, I've added an edge here so I can pull this down, use my manipulator, change it to the scale manipulator I can select this whole edge and um, I can scale in 1D, 2D, or 3D. But I'll go ahead and just scale here in 2D to kind of bring this in. I'm just going to select a few of these edges and extrude them. Um, where's my extrude icon? There we go. Let's pull these guys out. And now another nice way to get some transitions is just uh, kind of welding and adding faces to my to my model. So 
I'm going to go ahead and switch to vertex mode and weld some control points. So let's move, select this point and have it move here. You can see it just welds that and makes a nice one smooth model there. Another way to do this is appending a face. I'm going to switch to viewing my model as a, as a box mode model, kind of as a boxy mesh. Let's try that one more time. Oh, it looks like I've got a word display setting here. Let me just restore those defaults. So here we have um, a boxy mesh model. I'm going to append a face here. Let's pick these points where I want my new face to go. Hit enter. And now when I go to smooth mode, you can see I've got that filled in there. So that's the second way of creating a nice nice transitions and blends in T-spines is by welding control points and adding faces to close off the model. I'm going to run uh, a command called make uniform just to kind of relax the surface a little bit. You can see that smooths that out nicely. And uh, there we go. So I've got this nice Nice, this nice model here and I can switch to, uh, let's see, I can still grab these edges and uh, move them around. And you can see my model stays smooth as I do that. Another way of, of getting nice um, blends or transitions is by using some of the Rhino tools. So if I, you can see I've kind of gotten a little bit sloppy with this edge here. I can clean that up by turning on my control points extending that selection and then using the Rhino set points command. Just set these to the x-axis. Just type in zero. There we go, that's nice and straight. And uh, with a nice straight axis there I can turn on the T-spine symmetry. So I'll turn on the x-symmetry. And now with, with this green symmetry line what that means is if I do anything on one side of the model it will update smoothly on the other side. So that goes for control point moving. I can also move faces. So if I want to lower part of the tub, you can see, look how that just stays nice and smooth. You can also um, select T-spoint's edges and weight them to add some more detail that way. So just use the weight points command. Maybe type in what eight. You can see how that uh, tightens up there. And it, and it remains a nice smooth transition across there. And you can even do things like if I want to extrude a face to say make a flying bathtub. Go ahead and pull that out. You can see updating on both sides. So again, this whole time, I'm, all of my transitions and my blends are staying nice and smooth. So once you have your nice smooth T-spines model, um, often you need to have an interface with something else in your scene. So here we have uh, kind of the place where the bathtub sits into. And there's a number of ways to get the T-spine to match up with the other objects in your scene. One way is to just use some Rhino commands. So if we use a Rhino command to blend, let me just type that in here, blend, and it's blend surface. I'm going to select the edges of my T-spine surface and since T-splines can always be converted to NURBS, you can use these Rhino tools and control the, um, just using these Rhino tools, you can just control how the blend goes. See a preview of this blended surface. And so again, using T-splines, we can create all these complex blends, then when we want to combine it with a Rhino surface, we can just use some Rhino commands. And again, this stays a T-spline surface, so you can still update that. There's still symmetry on, but it uh, it's smoothly integrated with your Rhino surface.